Hey everybody, welcome to another video from Team Moose Man. Exciting announcements, we've got two contests coming up. One from Signature SGL and the other from Trek Optics. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be clues along the way to try to win. There's going to be great prizes, really wonderful prizes. So click on the link today for details to find out the rules, how it's going to work. And um, let's go watch some moose. It's August. Everything is green and lush. It's beautiful here. Everything's blooming. The bulls are all in velvet. It's really quiet right now. We're really looking forward to this first phase of the rut. Because right now, all the bulls are doing is eating. But what's going to happen soon is the velvet's going to come off. The bulls will then start to display their shiny new antlers they've been growing all year long and they want to try them out. So that's when the sparring begins. Sparring is not fighting. Sparring is gentle practice for fighting. They don't intend to harm each other then. It's really all in good fun and it's a lot safer to document. Of course, after the sparring, things really start to ratchet up. That's when the bulls will start to seek out the cows. The grunting begins as soon as the velvet's off. Once more cows start showing up in the valleys, more bulls will too. We're still waiting for a lot of the key players at this point. What we do see now, though, is the lesser bulls are starting to congregate. The three and four-year-olds. This bigger bull this four-year-old right here is Cowboy, the one with the twin cowlicks on his forehead between his pedicles that got him his name last year. And here's a little food for thought. This bull has a bell and rope and an antler configuration that looks a lot like 22. It's very possible that this bull cowboy could be related in some way to 22 and also potentially to flat top. We love these moosteries. As this year's rut progresses, who knows? We might even solve some of them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.